What's up guys, my name is Khan and we're back today in Logic Bots and I know I said in the last episode that we were going to go and do uh, the GPS navigation. You can see here in the military we've uh, we've kind of skipped the GPS navigation and the mine search and gone to the truck following. And I know I said we were going to go back and do the GPS navigation and the mine search in this episode, uh, but instead I'm actually going to do those in a later episode because I saw remote control on the list and I thought you know what I really want to do the remote control challenge because I really want to see what remote control is in logic bots is it logic controlled or is it like actual player controlled because up to this point every single challenge we've done so far we've never built a robot that we can control once it starts once it starts you have to kind of let it go and everything and uh, I'm very curious to see what remote control is if we get into it we got to build a remote control logic bot and drive it to each of the waypoints on the course in order and park your logic bot on the checkered finish box. Uh, complete the level in 52 seconds or less. Complete the level with a robot cost of 650 or less. And complete the logic the level without letting your logic bot touch any of the barriers or cones. Okay, well that seems pretty straightforward if we're if we're actually controlling it. Okay, so we just got this 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 course. And we have to go one, two, three, four, finish. I mean this doesn't really seem that hard to be perfectly honest. I mean, okay, let's just let's just build a, a bot here. So Twin motor framework. I mean, I figure we're just gonna make a tank, you know, left side, right side. Uh, it probably, maybe, maybe we'll do a reverse too. I don't know. We'll see how the how the remote control works. So what's the? Oh, it's just an RC receiver. That's it. Okay. Oh, that's tiny. All right. So what does that do exactly? What does that look like in the circuit board? So here we've got this. And what is this in the circuit board? Oh, we actually bind the keys. So if I go like W, S, A, and D, oh, that's fantastic. And you can bind different keys to it. So we could, oh, this is this is gonna be great. Okay, okay, so we're gonna need probably some OR gates, I would think. If we do that, then basically when we hold W, we activate two motors, when we hold S, we activate two different, like one of them and the direction, but that's gonna be way too expensive. So we need to do this a lot cheaper and so in order to do this cheaper i think all we got to do is just because i want to i want to get under that 650. i'm still over 650. how am i still over 650? all right so if we remove the two back wheels then we can make this for 650 which is i guess just you know that's that's just fine um so all we're gonna do here is have four controls i, I need to use like two hands here okay so let's say like uh yeah you know one two, three, and four. So the four numbers. And on the first side of things, we're just gonna go, one drives the left motor, and two will reverse the left motor, three drives the right motor, and four will reverse the right motor. So now we can actually beat it in less than 600. I mean, we'll, we'll do this afterwards with an actual WASD controller, cause that, that'll be so much better. But for now, let's just, let's just do this. Okay, so, if we uh, restart here, so one and three. Well, this is gonna get the budget, but there's no way this is gonna get the time trial. Okay, let's just, yeah, no, this is this is good. This is incredibly slow. But we'll do it this time first, just to get the budget, and then we'll we'll go back and we'll make a WASD converter, and we'll put some uh, some faster, more wheels on it for sure, and uh, we'll we'll no just not worry about the budget. And actually go for speed but this is this is not gonna get it in 52 seconds there's no way come on you can do it buddy this is pretty cool though I mean it, it feels it feels cool to be able to actually you know control a robot directly in this game normally we don't do that it's pretty easy though I mean not gonna lie it's just you know all that experience in scrap mechanic playing with tanks and uh, do I have to park it oh no I got it already okay Playing with tanks and playing with buttons and uh, not knowing how to do WASD converters really helps out here. This is pretty good. All right, here we go. Good, good, solid. Come on. Oh my god, it doesn't want to drive straight. That ball on the back sucks. There we go. You know, I should really just be doing that. Then two. Good, got that one. So yeah, we just have to drive through the waypoints. And then we'll, it'll be nice because we'll be able to go for the time trial without having to worry about hitting the barriers or anything like that because we'll hopefully beat it this time without hitting any barriers. And then uh, the time trial will just be easy. Alright, it's pretty good. 
This is very, very easy to do with direct control. All right, here we go. We'll go up here. Come on, almost there. So slow. All right, good. So we just didn't get the time trial. So let's, uh, oh no, let's go back to building. Okay, so let's uh, do some stuff here real quick. First of all, this is going away. Yes, and let's build this for speed. So let's put the big wheels on it. Now doing a WASD converter in this is gonna be a little bit more difficult because we actually have to have, um, you know, a lot, of, a lot of different gates to split the signal. Okay, so here we go. So we need, uh, let's just delete these connections. All right, so W, S, A, and D. Okay, so for the W control, both motors have to go forward, which means we have to turn them both on. Actually, pretty much all of them have to turn on both motors. So no matter what control you pick, you have to turn on both all the motors. Okay, so let's just do it this way then. So let's get the, the motor signal on first. So two OR gates, which leads to another OR gate. So OR, OR, and one, and two, and three, we'll just kind of link that one down there. And four, no matter what control you pick. Oh, this needs to then go to a splitter. That's right. No matter what control, both motors have to turn on. Hold on, we gotta actually change this because we need a splitter on these other controls. So if we're going forward, if we're holding W, then it's just gonna go through these OR gates and turn on both motors and we're gonna go forward. If we're holding S, uh, so we go down here to S. We still want it to turn on both motors with half of it, but then we also want it to reverse both directions. So we're gonna need some OR gates on the two directions here. So let's just put those OR gates down here. So this will be left motor direction and this will be right motor direction. And so if we're holding S, we're going to activate both motors and we're also going to reverse both motors. So we actually, we're gonna need another splitter on the S. Actually, we can just, you know what? We can just use a triple splitter. That would be even better. So S will then split to turn on both motors, plus to reverse the left motor and to reverse the right motor. Okay, now if we're holding A, which is turned to the left, we need to, once again, turn on both motors and we need to reverse the left motor direction. So we turn to the left and then holding D, same thing, we're going to, this is getting pretty gnarly, turn on both motors, and then we're going to reverse the right motor direction. So now we've created a WASD controlled robot. So it's a little bit more complicated than you do in, in Scrap Mechanic, obviously, but still not that bad. All right, so if we restart here, much better. Just holding W. Much easier to drive this way. You can just, you know, tap A, tap W, and uh, you really get that nice tank controlled. Oh yeah, this is much faster too. And we don't have to worry once again about hitting the barriers. We're just gonna try and go for speed here. Come on. Oh yeah, well, I think we'll make it, no problem. 52 seconds. We don't clip that too bad. Four. Oh, no, okay, back up. Perfect. The one thing I do like about Logic Bots is the Logic seems to have an almost instantaneous response time compared to Scrap Mechanics, so you really get that, uh, that good, you know, feeling. But there we go. We've got a really simple Logic system. Now, because that level was pretty quick, uh, I know GPS navigation and mind search are a little bit longer, but uh, we're also going to do the stair climb because I figure, you know what, remote controls, stair climbing, pretty simple. And the stair climbing, you know, build a logic bot capable of climbing stairs, uh, complete the level in 32 seconds or less, complete the level with a robot cost of 650 or less, and complete the level without using any triple wheels. So I think the triple wheels are the ones that just kind of automatically run up the stairs, but this is a pretty straightforward level. I mean, we don't really need any logic. We just need to have the thing go forward and go up so it's just got to really just turn on and go forward so twin motor framework i guess the question is okay yeah it's very narrow compared to the stairs so we've got lots of room what do we got for wheels see they don't want you to use the triple wheels i feel like if you use the triple wheels you just tell it to drive straight in and you're done so instead let's just use 
650 or less, right? Well, I'm not going to get 650 if I use the big wheels. Let's just use the, you know what? Let's just do it. Let's just use big wheels and see if we can just drag ourselves up. So let's just, I mean, I'm, I'm thinking we just literally just turn it on and tell it to go up. How, how are you going to do? Oh, oh, I see. Well now. All right, let's, uh, let's try putting more wheels on it. It almost can do it, too. That's the crazy thing. It, like, it really, like, if it could keep its speed up, it could do it. With the triple wheels, I feel like you just tell it to go straight and you make it right up. Okay, so we're getting close. All right, so let's, uh, let's try the same design, but with all small wheels. I feel like we're gonna get better success here. Again, really, really breaking out the logic for this one. Uh, lots of thinking going on here. This doesn't, this looks like it's just kind of, is it gonna flip? Come on, buddy, you can do it. You, no, you really can't. Okay, let's uh, let's try mixing and matching. You know, I call this the gorilla. Nope, still doesn't want to do it. Okay, what if we what if we do it the other way? Come on! Oh, that, that's worse. That's so much worse. Okay, well, I guess the only thing we can do then is make it uh, six wheels. And maybe if we do a third set of small wheels in the middle here, we can uh, we can actually get something that'll ride over the steps. Oh, 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 oh! Is it gonna do it? It made it up two steps. It's going up a third. Oh, come on, buddy! You can do it. We're not gonna get the time achievement, but we can do this. I think the middle wheel grips when it's... Come on, buddy. What? You're stalled out? Really? Nice, nice, nice. You can do it. I believe in you, robot. I believe in your stupidity. You have nothing but an on switch. We will beat this with an on switch. Come on. Yes. Yes. Success is ours. All right, no way we got the time achievement, but you know what? That's okay. But anyways, guys, I know there wasn't a whole lot of logic in those two levels in the uh, remote control and in the stair climb, but uh, I did want to get them out of the way, mainly because we're getting into some crazy stuff. For example, the house clear, where you have to actually build a camera controlled robot that can go through the house and clear out all the rooms and an assault course, which is something a little bit similar to that. So I will go back and do the GPS navigation and the mind search next just so we can finish out this section. But uh, I really wanted to get these two out of the way just to look at the remote control really, because I had never done that. And uh, of course, to, to show you guys just how easy a stair climb can really be with just some brute force and zero logic at all. I really hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did enjoy this episode and you want to see more logic bots, make sure you hit that like button down below and uh, hit that subscribe button while you're at it if you haven't already. And as always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see y'all next time.